Welcome back to News 46. The town is getting ready for the annual Movies in the Park. The board approved money from the room tax to pay for the summer family-friendly event. Setting as the governing board and unincorporated town of Beatty, Belmont, Gabs, and Manhattan, Pahrump, and Railroad Valley, we're going to do item number 20 for the underneath Pahrump. This here is an item. This is a possible action discussion deliberation to approve a request from the Pahrump Park and Recreation Advisory Committee 1 for the amount <coughs> to exceed $12,000 for the Pahrump Movie and Park and Recreation. And again, that, that $12,000 is coming from the uh, Park and Recreation, uh, is dedicated at the Park and Recreation portions of this Mr. fund. Mr. Chairman, Matt's down yes. here. On, uh, Matt, this is budgeted for this year? Correct, yes it is. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. We have another television viewer today. KPVM TV hooked up another local resident who just moved to town seven months ago with 13 over the air channels. Joe and his wife have direct TV, but also wanted to get local news and programming. Our own Jason Koblenz hooked them up with the use of a paper clip. Well, the uh, doorbell rang and the installer came in and uh, said, do uh, I want to see the local channels? They said, absolutely, I want to go see what's going on here in Pahrump. New to here at Pahrump, I've only been here seven months. And uh, he said, I need a paper clip. I said, paper clip? Okay, I'll get him a paper clip. He bent it a little loop, put it in the back of the TV. Lo and behold, I have my Pahrump stations, and I'm very pleased. How many channels total were you able to get? Yeah, about 13 channels. And then you got your local channels. Why did you want local channels? I wanted to see local channels because I want to know what's going on in the community and, and be aware. I knew that the county commissioners are broad, broadcast on. Plus, there'll be local events and activities here in, uh, in Pahrump that I want to be familiar with. Are you happy with how well they came in as far as um, the actual reception? Oh, the reception is, is perfect. I mean, there's no uh, fuzz, there's no ghosting. It's just a perfect image. I'm really excited about it. And that uh, you bought a digital antenna, but you're going to take that back now, right? I'm taking the digital antenna back. It's $32, and I can use that for something else. And if you want to get hooked up, just give us a call, 775-727-9400, extension 201. It doesn't cost anything. Investigators nabbed Mohamed in Alberni in Brussels today. Alberni has been tied to the terror attacks on Paris last November through surveillance, video, and DNA. Authorities now can question him about the Brussels airport bombing on March 22nd, part of the attacks that killed 32 people. Tomorrow, come rain or shine, is the annual Smiles Across Pahrump at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. We're still going to have smiles, rain or shine, and for people who don't know what that is, um, Kiwanis uh, Club of Pahrump Valley is holding uh, the annual Smiles Across Pahrump, and that is an event where we're just trying to get families together for some quality time together. Um, so there's going to be lots of games, uh, face painting, a petting zoo, um, just a really fun time from 11 to 2 at Ian Deutsch Park um, in the gazebo area, and we just want families to come out and have some fun together and so it may rain this weekend right it might um it, <laughs> we're just gonna have the event anyway it's a rain or shine event and we'll play games through the raindrops it'll be okay um, if it starts to rain really hard there is a covered area that people can move into that's fine um, so you know we'll just have to do what we have to do and then the raffle will still take place at 145 so if people are coming and going throughout that time because of the rain that's fine but they do need to be present at 145 for the ticket draws and then tell me about the essay, explain that. Okay, so what we're asking, we have 19 bikes that we're, we're raffling, and we're asking kids to write an essay um, called What a Smile Means to Me. And uh, it's different lengths for different grades. So kindergarten and first grade, we're only asking for a couple of sentences. Uh, second through sixth, we're asking for a full paragraph. And then six through 12, we're, we're asking for two full paragraphs um, because we think that that's doable for each of those grades. The essays are not judged. So the point is not for us to read through all of them and pick which one is the best essay. The point is for the kids to tell us, you know, what a smile means to them and we're really hoping to post some of those on Facebook and let the town see you know what these kids are thinking and what a smile means to them in the meantime when they turn in that um, essay at the gazebo we will give them a raffle ticket 
for a bike. So all of the tickets will go in a bucket and then we'll pull at 145 to see who wins. Um, now the way that it works is that each grade, uh, first through fifth has, or kindergarten through fifth has two bikes. And then sixth through twelfth has one bike. We don't get as many older kids there turning in essays and so um, there's only one for them. But the chances are really good for the kids to come and win a bike. So all they have to do is turn in that essay and they automatically get a ticket. When we come back from this break, we'll have your news across Nevada and weekend sports.